Stuart Smith here for Life, the Basic Manual. So I'm here with uh, Leo the Ridgeback today. So if you're thinking about getting a pet, I'm going to tell you why I think uh, the Ridgeback is the best uh, best dog to get. Uh, Leo is uh, about four years old. Um, again, a Rhodesian Ridgeback. They were bred in South Africa, uh, uh, actually for hunting lions. Uh, the uh, uh, the lion, uh, uh, actually they would hunt in a pack, uh, tree the lion, uh, and prepare them for the hunter to come finish off. Uh, the term uh, keeping a lion at bay had actually come from their hunting characteristics. Uh, they were bred by a number of uh, breeds. Uh, there was a local uh, semi-wild uh, tribal dog uh, by the Hot and Pot tribe. Uh, that gets him in this characteristic ridge that I'll tell you about in just a moment. But uh, um, whole variety mastiff hounds uh, uh, experimented with a lot of dogs to be able to really find a durable dog that could uh, kind of uh, stand the extreme heat and extreme colds of the African plain. Uh, one of the character, well, as I said, the characteristic of the ridge. There's a few breeds that do have a ridge, it's actually the hair is going backwards down this way. Not sure if my camera is showing it very well, but there's a nice crown here. Big thick ridge comes down to a, a small sharp point here, which is really a classic nice feature. Uh, Leo is not a show type dog. They prefer the uh, darker, uh... come on Leo, wanna make a video? Uh, they prefer the darker uh, dogs versus the Wheaton color here, and uh, he has a nice little chest and some snow paws, which I think are uh, fabulous, but the uh, uh, stuffy show people uh, don't think they're so great. Uh, the, uh, the breed was recognized in the mid-50s, 53 to 56, somewhere in there, I believe. Uh, actually, the first, uh, first dog bred in the United States was... Uh, by Errol Flynn, uh, and, uh, who was a big dog lover, but had actually bred a couple of Ridgebacks. So that's the first documented breeding in the United States. Leo, uh, uh, very little odor, very little uh, difficulty maintaining. They're, they don't shed the hair, you can see is very uh, thin. Uh, uh, actually, Leo loves it uh, when you hose him down, so it's uh, almost uh, trouble-free maintenance with uh, with the Ridgeback. A uh, few little health problems, but not too many, not as many as a lot of breeds, but uh, he does, uh, they do like uh, a lot of uh, exercise and attention. The, the dogs are known to be able to run like up to 30 miles at a time keeping up with the horse, so it takes a lot of endurance to be able to do that. They partly, they have a little extra long uh, bone in the back of their leg there and a very thick foot pad that allows them to be able to kind of do that across the African plain and uh, makes it uh, makes them for extremely, extremely durable. Uh, that said, uh, he also can uh, uh, be an expert at guarding the hearth, which means taking a nap. So he can go from excited to nap in almost nothing flat. Uh, Leo uh, uh, does uh, uh, does require a little bit of training uh, and a little bit of attention. So, you know, if you aren't planning to spend a lot of time um, uh, with your uh, pet, I suggest a pet rock, perhaps one of those ant farms or something like that. Uh, a Ridgeback, uh, though, if you uh, really want uh, a dog that will stick with you to the end, except Leo is uh, smelling something being cooked in the kitchen, which is uh, always a big distraction for Leo. Come on, buddy, Leo, come on. But uh, you give him a little bit of attention. Sit, sit, sit. Show us a sit, buddy. Sit, there you go. Give them a little bit of attention and they uh, they really will, uh, will pay off in the end. Leo's about four years old. Uh, they generally uh, will live to about 11, uh, 11 to 14. So um, I suggest, uh, you know, if you're gonna get a pet, do your homework, know what you're getting into, train them well, take care of them, make sure you get the right diet, have a good vet, and uh, 
Um, you know, in a lot of ways, the, your, your pet can become uh, a member of your family, maybe uh, even more preferred around holiday times than other members of your family. Uh, as the old saying goes, the more people I meet, the more I love my dog. Thank you for uh, letting me uh, share my experience of why the Ridgeback is the best dog to own.